unlock this underrated Final Cut Pro feature to record video directly in two dead simple steps. First, I'll show you how to record with your built-in FaceTime camera. And at the end, I'll show you how to record from a connected camera that Final Cut Pro doesn't recognize. Let's set the record straight. Oh, I'm so sorry. In Final Cut Pro, go up to File, Import, and select Media. Or click this button right here. Or even faster, just press Command-I. It opens up the import window here. And in the upper left corner, we see our FaceTime camera. I can click on that and it will open up the preview. Hi, I hate raisins. So now I can record from this camera directly into Final Cut Pro. This is a preview here. Over here on the right hand side, I'll select the vent I want it to stay in and it will copy a file to the library. You can't select leave in place because you're recording it live right now. When I'm ready to record, all I have to do is press import. And you'll see over here in the upper left corner, it's got a timer. I've been recording for five seconds and I haven't said anything worthwhile. When I'm done recording, just press on stop import. Let's take a look at that. We'll close the import window and we can find our video here underneath QuickTime. We can select our video and we see we've got our video here and our audio and we can select portions of it and add it to our timeline just like normal. And you'll see over here in the upper left corner, we can edit this clip as well. We can trim it, we can add effects to it. We can treat it just like a normal clip. Is this video scratching your recording itch? Is it helpful? If so, will you give it a thumbs up so other people will find this video? Thank you. And in just a little bit, I'm gonna show you how to record from your phone. But first, let's record from a webcam. You'll notice in Final Cut Pro that it doesn't recognize my webcam that I have attached. So we have to do it through QuickTime. Let's close this and press Command Spacebar and open up our QuickTime player. Go up here to File, select New Movie Recording or press Option Command N. It will pull up this preview video. Right now it's on my FaceTime camera, so let's change it by clicking on this button here. And I want to use my webcam, which is directly in front of me right here. Hi. We can also change the microphone. I'm gonna keep it with the webcam right here in front of me and we can change the quality. Let's go for maximum. This is indicator of our volume levels. Is it too loud? Looks good to me. This is the volume, volume control. control. If you have something playing while you're recording, this is how you can control it. We don't want that to come into the recording, so we'll keep it muted. When we're ready, we just click record. Hey, I'm recording to my webcam. It's not directly in Final Cut Pro, but I'm gonna import it to Final Cut Pro in just a second. Click that button to stop it, and immediately we have our video. Let's play it back. Hey, I'm recording to my webcam. It's not. All right, so we have our video here. We have some options. We can do a little picture in picture effect. We can also share it by clicking on here, sending it through messages or airdrop it. And we can also change the playback speed. Let's save this by pressing Command S and naming it. And we'll save it on my desktop. Now let's go back to Final Cut Pro and let's import that. We'll press Command I and we'll find our file. It's on my desktop. Say content created was today. There it is, webcam. I can't select in and out points. I have to import the entire clip. And I can preview it here as well. So I'll select my clip. I'll select the event I want it to save in. And do I want to copy it to the library or leave it in place? And I can also analyze the video and audio for more advanced features. All right, let's import this bad boy. And you'll find it in the browser under QuickTime Movie. Here it is, Dylan Webcam. And now I can import just a section of it or all of it into my timeline. And just like any other video clip, I can move it around. I can trim it. I can adjust the audio. I can add effects to it. It's just like a normal video clip. All right, now let's use my phone to import it. Go back to QuickTime. Let's close that recording and go up here to New Movie Recording. And instead of the webcam, let's select my iPhone camera. You have to have it plugged in to the computer in order to start the recording. You'll notice it has uh, this up. It has a little indicator here. I've got my camera and I'm gonna record with it. So I'll just hit record here and it's recording. Hi, I'm recording with my phone. You want to see my studio setup? And then when we're done recording, just click this button here. Now I can save this file. Dylan phone, and we'll close that. Another way to import it is to drag and drop it. So I'll go to Finder to my desktop, and I'll just drag and drop that into my timeline. And we can edit this just like any other video. Record here, and it's recording. Hi. I'm recording. That's pretty cool. That's a quick way to get a phone recording into Final Cut Pro to edit. Now you know how to record from a camera into Final Cut Pro, but what if you want to record your screen? Unfortunately, you can't do that in Final Cut, but there is a way to record your screen and then add it to Final Cut. I made a video here showing how to do that. Check it out.